This is Sheila Black. I'm reading my poem, The Earth. What can I tell her over breakfast when she says her son suffers from madness and because there is no mental health, he has ended up in jail? And she is relieved because at least he might be safe there or he might get to see the doctor. We are eating egg white omelets. We are counting carbs. We are buttoning ourselves in our clean dresses and high-heeled shoes in order to bring home the bacon, doing what we need to do, and it is what it is. Her granddaughter and daughter are living with her in the one bedroom. Nights, the daughter lounges by the pool, looking at her phone, while she teaches the child to plant seeds in a flower bed she feels bad she does not own. She tells me she cried in the car coming here. She did not know me then. She thought we would be talking to each other the whole time about what we are selling, what the other might buy. But somehow, we left that behind, over the toast with the cunning little pots of strawberry jam. Who could explain all this luxury, all this despair, or how we hold our secret shame so close and gloss our lips with cinnamon fire, as if that were some legitimate form of protection, cinnamon fire. She just turned 50. I tell her, wait 10 years. You won't know more, but you will get closer to forgiving because it is all happening on a wheel that spins so fast. Why not stop and look at the pink flowers you've planted with your granddaughter? Why not dig your toes in the good wet earth? We play with the crusts on our plates. The waitress takes the coffee away. We are strangers again, each carrying our lonely fear our children won't find their way. Wishing for them some inner logic, sacred trust of self and earth, which exists for each of us so far within, so far under the skin, we can't even begin to say what it is made of. It merely is. Poised between love and grief, the blue space we call wonder, which is merely the dew on the grass, shadow the sun makes as it rolls over the vast skin of the earth. This poem was inspired by a real life encounter I had that made me think about the weight so many of us carry in our daily lives and the challenges of carrying it, grief, love, whatever, and the odd, surprising exchanges we sometimes have with relative strangers and how they sustain us. I was conscious of trying to write this in a way that felt non-poetic, but instead hewed as close as I could get to the rawness of lived experience. In part one, we took a look at the 1960s beginnings of the Kaiser Dome on the grounds of the National Orange Show in San Bernardino, and its transition from an exclusively trade and hobby exhibition hall to a dance and concert venue. By the mid-1960s, the Kaiser Dome was attracting a younger demographic as it began featuring rock, Chicano, and soul dance bands. In May 1964, two young IE bands, the Royalistics and the Viscounts, played a Kaiser Dome dance to raise money for the John F. Kennedy Memorial Library Fund. In April 1965, an Easter Sunday Battle of the Bands dance took place in the Kaiser Dome. Among the IE bands appearing were the Imperials, the Elegants, the Jades, the Bushmen, the Germs, plus Donnie and the Bilangos, who 
whose name was misspelled on this flyer. And Tarot promoted an event called Sounds of the Dome. It was held in October 1965. IE groups the Dynamic Four Plus One and the McGee Sisters were the co-headliners. Tickets cost $1.25 in advance and $1.50 at the door. Also playing that evening were two other IE musical acts. Third build was Don Ray Sampson, who had a locally released single entitled Take It Easy. The song was noteworthy because it was written, arranged, and conducted by fellow IE musician-songwriter Jimmy Webb. San Bernardino group The Facades opened the evening. On Saturday, May 20, 1967, the Elites Women's Club of Riverside presented a fundraising dance at the Kaiser Dome. The featured IE band had recently added a member because they were now called the Dynamic 5 plus 1. June 23rd saw an appearance by IE bands The Bandits and The Jades at the Kaiser Dome, as seen in the This Is What's Happening calendar page of the Came Entertainer weekly publication. One of the most memorable concerts held at the Kaiser Dome was on the 4th of July, 1967, when The Doors played the venue. The band performed in front of a sold-out crowd of 1,600 fans. At the time, the group had the number one song on the Billboard Hot 100 music chart, Light My Fire. Opening for the doors was Inland Empire group The Light. The band had earned some local notoriety and was the subject of a front-page story of the Came Entertainer magazine. Lead singer Jim Morrison's antics allegedly resulted in an injury to an audience member, and the doors were sued. The complete story of that incident was told in an earlier episode of Tales from the IE. In the mid-1960s, there was an explosion of bands coming out of East Los Angeles. One of the most popular of these bands was The Midnighters. Their first local hit was the instrumental Whittier Boulevard. It was a tribute to the East LA tradition of cruising the boulevard. San Bernardino youth could easily relate because cruising E Street was also a thing. On July 22nd and August 4th, 1967, the band played a pair of well-attended dances at the Kaiser Dome. These two ads appeared in the San Bernardino Sun newspaper. If one brought the ad to the box office, a 25-cent deduction was made to the price of admission. This discount continued for future appearances of the band. The Midnighters' August 4th appearance was mentioned in San Bernardino radio station KMEN's Came Entertainment calendar. Also announced was an upcoming August 10th appearance by the San Francisco band Big Brother and The Holding Company. Opening this concert was another company band, the Peppermint Trolley Company from Redlands. The group had singles that received airplay on KMEN, and appeared on the local charts. Big Brother and the Holding Company featured the soon-to-be legendary lead vocalist Janis Joplin. An account of the concert by Peppermint Trolley Company member Danny Farragher claimed that his group was left holding the bag when the Big Brother band was a no-show. The story of that evening was told in an earlier episode of Tales from the I.E., On December 2, 1967, Promoters Airport Music presented The Midnighters for a dance and show. Once again, 25 cents was deducted from the ticket price if the buyer brought in a copy of the ad. A Christmas Eve 1967 concert featured two popular Inland Empire Chicano bands. San Bernardino's Facades opened for Colton's premieres. An advance sale ticket cost $1.75, At the door, a ticket cost $2. In January 1968, promoters Airport Music presented a pair of dance shows by The Midnighters. The 25-cent ticket discount continued, but girls were warned that they would not be admitted to the dance if they wore capri pants. In February 1968, The Midnighters made their sixth appearance at the Kaiser Dome. There was again a 25-cent ticket discount, and the ban on Capri Pants continued. As noted earlier, in Colton there was a band calling itself The Premiers. Around the same time, there was a San Gabriel group with the same name. 
San Gabriel's premieres formed in 1962 and released their first album in 1964. They appeared at the Kaiser Dome in February 1968. The Incredibles appeared in March 1968. They had a minor local hit with their cover of I Love You for Sentimental Reasons. The song was a 1947 hit for the Nat King Cole Trio. In July 1968, a pair of IE rock bands knew that the Kaiser Dome appeared for a dance. Headlining was The Now. The opening group was the Peace and Freedom Movement. In September 1969, three IE Chicano groups played the Kaiser Dome. Resurrection and Shades of Brown opened for the headlining Jades. An advance sale ticket was $2.00. At the door, the price was $2.25. In November 1969, the Chancellor's Car Club of San Bernardino staged the Thanksgiving Ball at the Kaiser Dome, featuring IE bands Life and the Jades. In the 1970s, 1980s, and forward, concerts and dances continued to be held at the Kaiser Dome. Today, the venue is known simply as the Dome. It continues to feature wedding receptions, quinceañeras, dances, and occasional concerts. Man's best friend. Make some of man's best pictures. Appealing snapshots, beautiful color slides, lively home movies. Your dog has a personality all his own, so you don't need trick shots or dog show poses. Just watch him quietly, keep your camera ready, and you'll get the kind of picture only you can take. If you can, have a helper who knows your dog. Then, as he talks quietly to your dog, you'll get the kind of alert expression you've been waiting for. A favorite ball or bone is almost sure to bring you an appealing pose like this. And don't forget his friends or acquaintances. And remember, they all look best before a simple background. Of course, you'll want to do as all professionals do and take several shots of every situation. That way you'll be sure to get pictures you'll enjoy over and over again. And whether you make snapshots, color slides, or home movies, always use dependable Kodak film. My name is Victor Krumenacher, and uh, I'm the bass player for Camper, Van Beethoven, and sometimes the band Cracker. And this is Greg Leischer, and Greg plays with me in Camper, Van Beethoven, and has for about the last 30 years. And I have a solo record called Hard to See Trouble Coming, which came out uh, on January 6th, and we're going to play a few songs from that. Uh, we're going to start with a ballad called The Love of My Dreams, which is kind of ripped... Uh, subject-wise from uh, maybe the George Jones and Tammy Wynette divorce records of the 70s. Uh, there's a song called Plain Gold Ring, uh, which I was listening to one day, and uh, this song is maybe a response to what happened to the Plain Gold Ring. Ready? One, two, three, two, two, three. walk hand in hand We were quiet and sure We looked in each other's eyes So a spark bright and pure I used to know you'd be there I'm just not so sure You were the love of my dreams And the end of my world 
Where there ain't nothing left It's all too plain to tell There's a shiny gold pen Laying there on the shelf The dog lets out a howl It's a high lonesome bay You're the love of my dreams It's the end of our days from the dangers on the way. here in Boston and um, I just wrote a tune 10 minutes ago to use for Couch by Couch West and I hope that you like it.
friend who came to see me. I put a song with the spirit left me here. And I can't imagine what went right. Who in the night disappeared? If the laws for years, for years. Not to know what will the night fall Shut your eyes out and you pray day of fear And I wonder what goes wrong And who is the night disappear The lost years of years We've been lost. We've been lost. We've been lost.